up guys? Um, I didn't do an intro today because I just didn't feel like it, so we're going to get right into it. This is how I edit my <clears throat> senior portraits, any type of portraits. Um, this one, it's not too bad. Uh, let's just finish loading. You can see from her face, like this whole thing kind of looks a little bit washed out and like you can tell like the face, like I didn't focus so well on her face. So uh, we can fix that. <clears throat> What we're going to do is on the Mac, you're going to press D for develop. You're going to take your um, little bobber thingy here, I don't know what this is called, and you're going to pick uh, an item on the picture that should be white. So this flower here, if I can pick the right one, it should be white. So there you go, brightens it up, takes the head picture up a little bit. Um, let's see, I typically... It just depends on the picture. I'm going to take the exposure up, or no, down. Take it down like 0.25. Um, right here, you can see uh, you need some contrast in your face because it's not so defined. So I'm just going to take it up just a little bit to get some, get her features more defined looking. Just plus 8, around 10, so you can go. Okay, so next, this makes a huge difference. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put her shadow up to about like 27, yeah. I'm going to put that positive 27, I'm going to go to the blacks, and I'm going to take that to like a negative 29. Some people are like OCD about the numbers, but I don't really care, just whatever looks nice. So we have that. Okay, so next. Uh, with portraits, typically I leave the clarity alone, um, but when I go back in the end, sometimes I just see how it looks. Um, but uh, so we're gonna mess with either the vibrancy, vibrancy or saturation. Um, usually I mess with both just to see how each looks because you never really know. Sometimes it looks different. So that was up 37, and this one is up 28. I think that the saturation makes her skin look a lot nicer. So we're gonna leave the saturation up by 28. Um, curves. Okay. So what we're gonna do here, uh, right here in this middle box. We're gonna take down the bottom one just a little bit, which makes it a little bit darker, and then we're gonna go to this opposite side and bring it up just a teeny bit, which highlights the lights and whatnot. And that's looking very nice already. Um, from there, oh yeah. From there, we are going to because these are senior portraits, we want to make them. Well, we want to make our subject look as nice as possible because they're a senior portrait. So this noise reduction here, although there is a tiny bit of noise in this, uh, actually not a tiny bit, there is quite a bit of noise in here. Oh, we can fix that up and make her skin also look flawless by um, raising up the luminance and the noise reduction. So the higher you take it, don't put too much or it looks a little bit fake, but the higher you take this, the more uh, it gets rid of the noise and her skin just looks smoother. Um, take it up. Uh, 36 is pretty good so from there we're gonna uh, choose the lens right here I don't know if your computer if your um, already, computer already does it but you have to go and figure out which one you're, you shot with I shot with the... there we go much better okay and so because this is a portrait I'm gonna take the vignette and I'm gonna take it all the way down which lowers the outside darkens the outside or whatever so that is that, and let's see what else do I need to fix. So I'm looking at this, um, I can see that it could use some more contrast. That looks a little bit better. And let's see if we can take the exposure up just a tiny bit. That looks, that looks a lot better. I'm taking that just a tiny bit. And yeah, that's a decent photo. Um, Sorry my tutorial is so short today. Um, I'm not I'm running out of space on my computer. I've got to clean it off. So this is all I've got for you today. Uh, tune in again. Ask for me what you want me to do next time. Follow, like, subscribe. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Bye, guys.